Bay Lane Pride. It's your girl, Britt, the owner and the operator of Crafts by Britt. So, first things first, I've been sick, y'all. So, I've kind of been ducked off. But that's why I got this band-aid on my face. Y'all know what happens sometimes when people get sick. Get fever blisters. So, that's what I'm dealing with. But today, we are going to be pressing a DTF transfer in honor of Mother's Day, which is going to be coming up in May, I believe. So we're going to do this mom transfer on this gray t-shirt. The brand is Smart Blanks. But once you get on the video, y'all do me a favor, like the video, comment the video. Like I said, I kind of been sick, so that's why I got a band-aid on. Don't judge me. Do not judge me. I've been sick. But I have missed y'all. And I'm ready for our weekly lives. Y'all know I've been trying to go live on Monday and Tuesdays. Like I said, today we are going to be pressing a DTF transfer. Y'all make sure y'all like the video, comment the video. Let me know are you a crafter or a business owner and where you are tuning in from, okay? So we're going to be pressing this transfer on a Smart Blanks t-shirt. The t-shirt is gray as you all can see. I'm going to show y'all my technique. A lot of y'all have seen this a bunch of times before, but for those of you that haven't, welcome, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Hopefully, this gives you guys an easier way to press t-shirts. Um, if you don't know me, my name is Brittany Hall, but I go by Britt with the blanks. Um, I sell t-shirt courses, um, like not t-shirt courses, but courses that help you get started um, with running your t-shirt business, not so much as crafts. But we are, we have Shopify classes, we have um, Facebook classes if you want to grow your business on Facebook. We have, um, what else do we have, y'all? All kind of stuff, okay? Visit the website, BritWithTheBlanks.com. And then just the FYI, since I haven't been filling up to part, I did leave everything on sale from my birthday sale, okay? And if y'all use B-Day 32, you can save an additional amount. We do have sublimation mystery bags available um, for $9.99, $19.99, and then also $14.99, okay? BritWithTheBlanks.com. So, first things first, what I like to do is, I know a lot of people fold the shirt and do all of this other stuff. I don't. I want to make sure that, number one, the transfer fits on the shirt. And then what I'm going to do is kind of iron over it. Um, this is a Cricut Easy Press 2. So it does go up to 400 degrees, but I do have this set to, th set to 365, okay? So I'm going to iron out the wrinkles and stuff, get all the moisture out. Um, and then I'm going to kind of let it cool a little bit because I don't want to put the transfer on a hot t-shirt and I have to move it around and do other stuff to it, okay? So once I feel like it's a little cooled down, then I'm going to place my transfer on top. I like to fold the collar of my shirt down. That's the best way that I can see that it's in the middle of the shirt, okay? So tag is right here, and I'm just going to kind of take my hand and make sure that it evens out with the middle of the transfer. A lot of people tell y'all to fold it. You can do it that way. It's more than one way to get to Dallas, Texas, okay? You can do it multiple ways. But for me, this is easier, especially if you're going to be pressing in bulk. Because who got time to fold each shirt and then press it? Make sure y'all like the video, comment the video. It is free to show support. So the next thing that I want to do is I'm going to pull it up on the table. And then I'm going to take this finger. And I want to pull my transfer down to about here. Now, if it's a smaller shirt, then I'm going to go up. But what I've learned for my finger, this is how big my hand is, but for my finger, um, this is what works to get that perfect setting on your chest area, okay? So, boom. I'm going to take my finger. I'm going to pull it down to that level. And if it's a man's shirt, you want to pull it higher up on it because they like their stuff going across their pecs, and their pecs are higher, more higher up, more flatter to the chest than ours, okay? So make sure you adjust that. Don't just go off of this. A lot of people say three fingers uh, or three inches for every shirt. That is not true. You want to adjust the um, image based off of the shirt size, okay? So now I have my image in place. I know at least I got it somewhat in the center. 
And then you can also use your hands and kind of, you know, guide it down and see if it's in the center or not. So now with DTF transfers, um, I like to do it at like 15 seconds. Of course, I'm going to go a little longer because I'm using the Cricut Easy Press. Let's see. Chirac says, hello, I stopped by and I have to say good night and Oh, good night, my bedtime, nighty night. Good night, Chirac. The um, replay will be available. I know I'm on here later than usual. My apologies, guys. Please bear with me, okay, as I get my life together. So, okay, with the Cricut Easy Press, like I said, I got it on 365. I'm going to hit the C, and that's going to start the timer for me. And I'm going to make sure that I go through and apply firm pressure. Like I said, if you're using a heat press, you might want to do this at 15 seconds and then pull it off. But for me, with the Cricut Easy Press, I want to do it at um, 15 seconds on each side so I can make sure that I get it um, get it right. So I'm just going to slowly go over the transfer, slowly go over it. Like I said, it's a little different when you're using a heat press. You don't want to scorch it or anything. And now, if you have a cool rag, I don't have a cool rag on hand, um, you can go over um, the design. And this is going to make sure that the design is good and pushed into the shirt. And then it's also going to help to cool down your transfer, okay? So make sure y'all like the video, comment the video. Let me know if y'all are learning anything from this. A lot of y'all probably already know how to, to press a DTF transfer. And if you need wholesale DTF transfers, I'm not talking about the gang sheets, but I'm talking about like 80 cent transfers that you can even sell yourself. Then you want to look into our dropshipping wholesale course, which is also on sale from our birthday sale. Don't forget to use code BDAY32 and you'll save an additional, I think, 20%, okay? So you can't beat that. But I'm just going to go over it. And like I said, make sure that the design is good and into the shirt. And then I'm going to let it cool, okay? You don't want to rip this up before it cools. If you do, some of your image might might not adhere to the shirt, okay? So we're going to let it cool for a few minutes. And if y'all have any questions, y'all can let me know. Y'all can let me know. And don't forget our website is BritWithTheBlanks.com. And I know I should have something under here to protect my desk, but I be lazy, y'all. When it comes to doing a tutorial, I'll be lazy sometimes, so I should have got a towel, but I didn't. So now what you want to do is grab one end of your transfer, and you want to slowly start to peel it up. If you see some of your image starting to come up, just pay attention to that area because I'm going to show you um, what you'll need to do to kind of get that to go back down. And if you notice, like, okay, it's a big patch of it coming up, you can always start to pull your transfer from the other side like I'm doing right here, but this part is good. So we're gonna continue over here. And then you wanna make sure you move slow because you don't want anything to come up, okay? Like this part right here is starting to come up. So I'm gonna start pulling from the other side. And then once it comes up, like I said, I'll show y'all um, how I press it back down into the shirt. So there we go. Drop some hearts if y'all like the video. Drop some sad faces if y'all don't. Let me know what y'all think so that I can know to continue on with our craft videos, okay? Oh, Lord. All right, so this stuff right here is called silicone paper. Silicone paper. I don't use butcher paper, okay? And if I'm doing sublimation, I still don't use butcher paper. I use regular copy paper. I get it from the dollar store in book. That's just me. That's my preference, okay? Y'all can use whatever y'all want to use. Okay, so now I'm going to cover my design with the silicone paper. This is going to protect my image as well as my heat press, okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Cricut Easy Press, still on 365. I'm going to hit that C, and I'm just going to slowly go over my transfer. I use this method with all of my shirts. Some of my shirts I've had for like five um, not five, let's not over exaggerate, but I've at least had for about three, four years for sure. But I've been using this technique since I got started. I use the same technique when I uh, do vinyl as well. And then a good way to make your shirts last and for your customer shirts to last is to always remember to cool wash and air dry. This is still a heat transfer, okay? So you want to cool wash and air dry. 
So this is what we have, you guys. I know it's a little backwards, but this is it. And then I'm going to try it on for y'all real quick. Once it cools down, it's a little warm. But if y'all have any questions, let me know. Make sure y'all like the video, comment the video. And like I said, this did come from one of our vendors. Um, the local vendor, I spent three fifty dollars for this, but I did not have to buy the design. I just simply bought, you know, the transfer and that's that. Okay, so now that it's cool, first things first, safety is important. So I'm going to turn off my heat press so that I don't catch anything on fire on accident, okay? So I'm going to try this on. Make sure y'all like the video, comment the video. It's free, 99 to show support. Now, this shirt acting like it's a little little. But we're going to see. Y'all, I'm going down through there. My little bed day coming off and stuff. Thank you, Jennifer. Yeah, my little bed day coming off. Let me hurry up and end this live. I feel hideous. Okay. So, this is how it fit. And as y'all see... As y'all see, like I told y'all, I've been sick. Do not judge me on my band-aid, okay? I got a little situation going on under there. But anyways, as y'all see, it fits. The shirt is needs to be a size larger. But overall, overall, that's why I'm about to get off here, y'all, because no. Um, but overall, as you see, the placement is right here on my chest area. It's not all up here on my neck, but it's not all down here on my stomach. And this is kind of how you want your t-shirts to look, okay? Let me see about standing up. So this is what we're working with. And then as y'all see, even though this shirt is a little bit too little for me, this DTF transfer ain't cracked. Ain't cracked. But anyways, um, yeah, I've been going down through there, y'all. Um, chilling, getting my life together. I'm still going through the same situation with my daughter, just like a life update for y'all. Still going through the situation with my daughter um, and just doing me, trying to work out, trying to get my house together. Y'all know I got the room painted the other week and changing out doorknobs and stuff, just updating stuff and coming up with a master plan for my business. So, yeah, oh, I love y'all and I miss y'all. Let me see the word of advice or the positive word for me from from me to y'all is gonna be um to do it alone if you have to just get it done okay sometimes we want to take everybody else with us on our journey but god sometimes didn't give those other people the journey he gave it to you for a reason so don't think that you can so don't think that you should. You have to take people that you've known in your life with you um, in places that you're going just because you know them. Angel Cruz said, caught the last of the video. I have to replay. Yeah, replay it, girl. Oh, and if you're catching the replay, put hashtag replay in the comment section. Um, so say something positive, y'all. And I'm about to get off of here. It's 9 o'clock, so I'm going to give y'all until 9.02. You can say a Bible verse. You can say... Um, something positive about yourself like a self-affirmation you can say something positive about other people on the live hello james j diddy bowens i'm gonna call you out uh jennifer says true words thank you jennifer but yeah so this is the end of the live y'all this is the end if you are re-watching it catch hashtag replay uh james j diddy bowen says if uh if it's is to be it's up to me oh if it is to be it's up to me smiley jones is watching hey smiley y'all right now we are in our positivity session so a lot of y'all coming in y'all don't miss the whole video go back and, and catch the replay okay but for those of you that are here let's say something positive i kicked it off james J. Diddy bowens followed up with me he said if it is to be it's up to me so Y'all take what y'all need from that. But let's say something positive about everybody. Uh, some, sorry, let's say something positive about yourself. Let's say something positive to somebody else on the live. You could drop a Bible verse. Anything that'll uplift somebody. Smiley J. Jones says, caught the end. We'll watch the replay. Thanks for joining us, Smiley. Yeah, so it's a few of y'all on here. Spread some positivity. I'm waiting on y'all. Uh, 
BTZ says, keep motivated. Thank you. Does anybody else have anything positive that they want to say? Cassie says, uh, stay focused. Thank you, Cassie. Um, thank you for your kind words to everybody tonight, everyone. Anybody else that want to get on here? We have one more minute of positivity, and then we're going to get off, okay? So, that's where we at. And if you're new to the video, we do this every video. We always have a positive word at the end. This is to uplift somebody else, to keep somebody else going, because if you've been watching this long or if you're watching my videos at all, nine times out of ten, you're trying to start a t-shirt business or you're thinking about it. Um, or you're an entrepreneur in general for the most part. So Smelly J. Jones says, stay true to yourself and your beliefs. Andrew Cruz says, some people are only in your life for a season. You can do bad by yourself. Stay motivated. You got this. Robin says, the struggle won't last long. Keep pushing. J. Diddy uh, has another one for us. He says, mind your business, your literal one. Amen. Jennifer says, keep moving. Don't let anything stop you. Thank you, Jennifer. All right, it's 9.02. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. The replay will be available on here and also on our YouTube channel, Brit with the Blanks. And we do have some videos on YouTube that aren't on this page. So if you want to see more content from me, follow us on YouTube, okay? Brit with the Blanks. And then BritWithTheBlanks.com is our website. Um, like I said, I have not changed the prices. I am going to change the prices tonight. But I have not changed the prices. So if y'all want that, y'all better go get it because probably about an hour is going to be changed. All right. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And I'll see y'all hopefully tomorrow. I don't like this little bed day situation, but I got to get on here and, and work. So we're going to figure it out. But I love y'all and I appreciate y'all. Peace out.